Hi everyone, this is Nabir Watcher. It is December 6, 2016. And today I'm going to show you more compelling evidence and some explanations for the strange things that we see in the sky. And uh, over here in uh, Gardasee, this is uh, just another typical day where we're never going to see the setting sun with the chemtrails. And let's see if I can, uh, and the point I want to make is, and what I'm going to show you is actually pretty impressive. So let's just get right into it. So this is, uh, I believe in Italy. And if we go back in the time lapse here, we can see the heavy spraying in the sun as the sun sets. But I, and uh, this object here, I'm going to have an explanation for that. And it's going to be more visually understandable a little later in this video. So just keep watching what this is when we see the sunset. This is the convergence of light behind the sun. So just hang in there. I'm going to show you several examples of this through time lapse. So I'm here to tell you that the incoming planet is going to be a faint white round object. And the best way to catch this is with time lapse. So what a better way to hide it and to paint the whole sky in the same color, heavily. But it's going to be the cloud that doesn't move in the time lapse. That's one way of seeing it. If you guys got better ways of filtering this out, I'm ready to listen. But check this out. <clears throat> so here is a classic example of this strange anomaly we're seeing here. Some people want to call it the sun dog. I guarantee you it's not. Just keep watching. So in the next video, uh, we can see endless examples. Uh, let me go back here again. This is back in October the 28th. And we're going to go forward in time. And it's continuously, every single day, as far back as you want a year, two years, this is happening. For months at a, months and months at a time, never a blue sky with the sun setting. And what's the race to chemtrail the clouds as this happens? And here is your planet. Let me zoom in on that one. So it doesn't look like much right now, but it's the faint white planet that never moves right here where my cursor is. But let's keep watching. And time, scroll time forward, you can see, and the reason is, and we've got another one here, two planets. These seem to be in orbit, and a binary orbit around each other. And we see the, the sun passing between these two planets. Later on, they're going to get closer together. We can see now the emergence of this other planet in this chemtrail fail. Look at that. This thing begins to light up on multiple cameras for months. So again, this is no ordinary orbit. This has been orbiting around our sun and its sun nemesis and a comet-like orbit. See this round object that never moves or very slowly. It basically for the day in the time lapse, it won't move. It's just going to sit there and that's how you can spot it. And I expect to see this if we ever get a somewhat clear enough day to actually see this thing lit up. Here's another example of the same. This is on the 30th. We have the same thing. People want to call us a smudge. But it is not. This is why. Have you ever asked yourself, why could I never see the sun? Why the chemtrailing? And why do they chemtrail on the horizon? Because that is when it's most threatening. When the setting of the sun will light this planet up. When the shadow of the earth leaves and lights this planet up just like you can't see the moon very well on a new moon again uh so here is another day on the 31st another chemtrail day and let's see if we can find anything uh i was just as here is an example to show you day after day when the sun sets that this thing all these clouds just cloud right up we can see and they 
not even be seeding the clouds for some of this stuff. It is so thick. It is so thick where I'm at. It actually, the weather actually called it clear, partly cloudy. And then later on, they actually said it was overcast. Here again is our two planets that are not moving in this object. We can see that's how faint this is. Again, it's a projection behind the lens system. It's not a straight viewing. That's why sometimes you sim appear to be seen through it. We can see the objects here. But hold on, I'm not gonna bore you with endless videos. My point with these, some of these is to prove that every single day the sun is setting in a chemtrail spray at the horizon exclusively. mainly to hide these two planets, particularly during the sunset at this time. And here we get a, another projection from these same two planets. We can, and then we go to watch the sunset. And then I want you to keep your eye on this focal point here of the lens system, which is approximately 250 miles in outer space. I believe it to be after ultra thin. I hope to make another video on that explaining it's probably not your ordinary glass lens. They probably use magnetic wave bending technology, which NSA uh, JPL laboratories have it patent on it. But uh, that'll be another video in the near future. Again, another chemtrail day here. This one particularly. I love this one because here we have when the sun sets it gets behind this focal point like we see in this video here's your lens okay this is not coming from the lens but there's no cloud to bounce or chemtrails to bounce it off so now we're seeing this this projecting this focal point I call it a projection because it when like it's concentrated enough it becomes visible to the eye you hear this is that same lens out here bouncing off of this see how it disappears i even caught this on time lapse it's going to be awesome when you see this one towards the end of the video we can see this again there's that projection point when the sun begins to set here's a projection of the faint milky white cloud uh, planet and then we get to see uh, again, this focal point here with the that is bending the light away from. See how it moves with the sun because from its outer space. And then we get again this faint milky white planet down here. One in the valley, one towards the mountains. They're moving closer together. And uh, sorry for the lack of time. I've been. Uh, let me go back across the times of these real quick. Again, we went back to October. I picked every single day that was even halfway, not cloudy. There's, If it wasn't like this, it was cloudy out. So this is what we have to look through. The lies and deception of these chemtrails. Always, always on the horizon. Always on a sunset around the world. At least near this latitude. Because this is where it's coming in on the Earth's ecliptic. So oh, I'm sorry. Again, this was October, October 30th, October 31st. Next clear day, November 3rd, November 7th. Chemtrails. The third, November 12th, November 14th, November 15th. Another cloudy day. It just can't fail. There's always something here. Again, here is our planetary object. Go and get a time-lapse video of the sun. Get a wide-angle camera. Look at this. And look for the white object that doesn't move at the sky. Again, here's a chemtrail plane trying to cover up this object as the sun sets. And here we can see this focal point. When you see the same focal point and the cover up here and again we got the uh, projection of the out-of-focus planetary object here 
again another planetary object the next day the sixth uh, again this is what we're looking at this is what they're hiding this is what you look for and see if I'm gonna and towards the end of this video I have a time-lapse video for Berkeley California Again, we can see the white planet being hidden here. The, the object doesn't move. Again, a wide angle lens. Try and see which area you live in. The, this is on the Earth's ecliptic plane. This is in Germany, somewhere near the 50th parallel. Depending where you live, you might want to look at a different area where you're at. See what section of sky. Look at that. See that? Look at that. There it is. Frame after frame. Again, here is a look at this peculiar shield that blocks the light from this thing. <laughs> Something just doesn't look right with this. Remember, I told you, mother video, this is not a lens flare. It is a focal point from the lens. You can, even looks like a shape of a lens, semi hexagonal. Please go back and watch mother videos. I don't be saying the same thing over again. Uh, next, I would like to show you my. Okay, so here is my time-lapse video. I'm going to play it straight first, and then I'm going to time-lapse. This green dot is the lens flare, of course. That's what a lens flare looks like. But I want to focus your attention. I was not able to capture this planet, but this is I suggest you do it. I wish I had a wide enough lens. So, I'm just let it play real quick. It took about three and a half hours to make a... 35 second video so this would be your lens flare with my steady tripod camera set on let and that's what a lens flare would look like of course I didn't bother moving it around it's red okay so what I wanted to show you in this time-lapse video was proof of this lens system here eventually I hope to catch the foggy white planet look at this chemtrail plane let me go back in time so he flies by he turns on the chemtrail and he turns it back off at a low altitude plane me knows about contrails that is not a contrail what I want to show you here in this portion of the time lapse at for about 12 seconds look at this you see this flare lens thing I'm showing you that's the lens system that this thing comes in on. So if we can watch it temporarily, they would have sprayed it brighter, it would have been more intense. Some days it's brighter. Than oh, and by the way, when I was there, when this sun was about this low in the sky, right about here, it got really dim. I mean, the whole sky got dim, and the heat that was on my face from being in the presence of the sun was gone. It felt like it was being eclipsed, which seems to validate what I've been saying about this thing that this fake Sun is hiding solar eclipses you will feel it go out sometimes Richie from Boston even mentioned it I'm staring right at the Sun yeah because it's cold it wasn't even generating heat it was just an LED light out there or it was the LED type light lighting system again go back and watch my fake Sun <laughs> and at 12 seconds here we can see this thing lines up with this lens system here and look how it lights this thing up right there it passes it just passes right by look at that so I hope you like this video a little more informative about the planets how to find them uh, this is over in Berkeley kind of matched up with mother video and uh, Okay, so here's the video over Berkeley, about on the third or the second. I was showing this, and I do apologize. We're well, not trying to mislead anybody, but this, I believe, actually was a lens flare that was moving along with the sun. I don't have an explanation why it disappeared, probably how it disappears into the sun like that. 
probably because there is some kind of shield out there blocking the light from the sun, reflecting. That is pretty weird, though. But I caught this. The reason why I actually believe this to be a... I mean, I could be wrong, but I was down there, caught the same time lapse. I did not see this dot. and But when I looked at the camera, that dot shows up again. But I didn't have a wide enough angle lens to catch this. And this is what I hope to see, like I've been capturing in all these videos. So please copy, like, and share this video. You guys have a blessed day.